Hi everyone, it's Gothic Lee Man here, or Leanne here today. I have figured I've finally gotten the Avelina de More Black Friday wallet in my hands. I've had this for a few weeks now, I just haven't found the time to make a video. So I thought I'd finally here to make a video about the wallet and how, I, how I'm using it what I like about it, what I'm sort of struggling with it, but it's all part of it, isn't it? And here's the fun little package. Here it is. On the outside, it looks gorgeous. It looks really elegant in design because I really like things that are a bit more sophisticated and elegant, so that's why I'd be quite happy to fork the money out on something like this. And I don't mind the weight, like your eight week wait for manufacturing does not bother me at all because you know that you're getting what you pay for. So you're getting good quality and you're getting something that's going to hopefully last you forever. Like um, I had I had the um, band bat wallet before this and the zipper was really starting to die. So that's why I was like, oh, good timing for the wallet and wallet came Mother's Day for me so it's like a bonus Mother's Day present on top with a kill star dress which I'll show in another video but yeah so big shout out to Avelina de More. she does amazing just trying to maintain this on top of her children and her family life she just does an amazing job so I'm quite happy to support support her because she's just a small business she's got a passion and a love of design and she just wants to see her creations out on the world so and this was incorporating Freya in mind which I think it's done perfectly to match the other bags which I love that consistency and that nice flow so on to talk about the wallet because that's what everyone's here for so on the back we have this lovely pocket I haven't really used this one much to be honest because I find it feels very tight so I to me it feels like I won't be able to fit many coins in it at all maybe it'll stretch with more use but to me it feels too snug for coins okay and then next part is the velvet I love the feel of it I love stroking it like it is it feels lovely to hold in your hand but I'm constantly wiping lint off the velvet so that's a bit of a negative to me that I'm having to clean the wallet constantly from lint and you know dust and everything that wants to stick to it but it does make it look a lot blacker, which I love. So when we open it up, first part, the red velvet. Unfortunately, I got one of the ones that looks like it was damaged through the making. And again, hair gets stuck in here as well. So so everything likes to stick to the velvet. But yeah, that that's what happened to mine. I'm not stressed about it because, yeah, it's a little thing on the whole scheme of a lovely wallet like you know what I mean like my fingerprints love getting stuck here so it's constantly clean I've got to clean the wallet there's a lot of maintenance to this wallet um, so what I find is I'm not used to this style of wallet so it is a bit trickier for me to to use I'm used to the the zipper the style like zipper style so first I like this compartment up the top I love this this is so practical I find it the coins fit in it nicely you know I haven't had any issue putting coins in there everything goes in there quite nicely so I'm really happy that that's a part of it this part here I found is really tight the cards struggle to go in and out really nicely so um I've I find good tip is don't put your everyday cards in this spot because you're going to struggle to get them in and out. I'm hoping that'll stretch over time, but as you can see, 
not easy to get out of that spot so not for everyday cuts I like this spot here but I found if you want somewhere for your everyday cards this is your spot for them because they just slide in and out really nicely there's a lot of wriggle room for them so it's really practical um, this panel here it's good that the card got in it got in quite nicely but to get it out you nearly need like some tweezers to actually get your car your driver's license out in and out so it's not not as easy i don't know why that is i think it gets stuck on the the top here this this part here i think it gets stuck underneath that when you're trying to pull it out i but all in all it is a good wallet you can't go wrong with this wallet i love it i love using it i'm also in the sense of i don't want to wreck it i'm i'm worried about using it because it's so pretty that i don't want to break it um, but yeah the stylus wallet i've got to get used to because i'm not used to the whole clicking this back into place that's a little bit harder for me being so used to zipper styles but all in all love it love it thank you so much for making this wallet i've been i'm a satisfied customer i don't know about other people but i i was happy to wait for this wallet yeah, so thank you for watching this video um till next time um i'll probably do i've been getting a lot of kill star dresses so i'll probably end up doing some sort of kill star related dress haul or some something along those lines I probably will buy the Mahatsune handbag off Avelina's website. I really like the purple because it's really different and unique. So until next time, bye.